Greetings, welcome to our reading. Uh, this reading's intention is to support you with uh, the energies and themes that are coming up during this phase of the moon, thus being the new moon in Aquarius. Uh, there is this like uh, airy, fiery uh, coalition, essentially. Uh, there's a, a balance that has been sought, that we've been seeking and it, it, it's, it's, it's here, it's starting to um, come to fruition. Uh, a lot of themes that are coming up right now are trust, um, trusting yourself, trusting other people, most importantly, trusting in yourself. Um, my name is Jamie. Uh, I've spent uh, 17 plus years uh, practicing uh, divination tools and spent uh, over 20 years uh, fathoming the concept of uh, to be piecing and I am delighted to be here of service uh, to support uh, your expansion of life and peace. Uh, welcome. I am open for readings uh, in the month of March and uh, I invite you. With that said, um, everything you see on this channel is um, in, in, in intuitive practice. Um, cool. So a couple things as I'm preparing, um, as I've been preparing for this is a, like a little, a little shaky. There's a lot of overwhelm. Um, there's a lot of, wait, can I do this? And then there's just like this huge, huge wave of leap. Let's leap. Um, we're feeling it in our, in our bodies, like this, this lightness is starting to um, guide, hold the hand. Um, so let, let's get into um, the cards. Um, I will leave a description of the cards that I'm using in the... Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is a collective reading. Um, I'm looking right now for the overview of energy, so. Overview re reading for the collective. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna ask for two more cards from this deck to support the people, where they've been, where we are, where we're going in this phase. Two more cards, yeah. Strength popped out as I was preparing for this as the overall theme, so it makes sense coming out of the lion uh, full moon as well. One more card for the overarching energy, past, present, and future. Nope, one more card. One more card. One more card. Okay. All right. Justice at the bottom of the deck that showed up twice when I just went through. So the overarching energy, um, like I was saying before, this there's like a trust that has like the, a weariness. That you're really guided to have have strength in this, in what you're di discovering, where you're wanting to go. Oh look, there's two cards. Um, we're gonna leave them. This really is the, the future. We'll leave that in the position. Past, present, future. We'll leave this in the future. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So yeah, so as many of us have come out of really dark times, um, we've always had this um, revolve to the strength of ourself, our independence our ability to create a life of, of beauty and freedom. The wielder of our life. And the great mystery of excuse me, the great mystery of it all. So, so I'm stuck in a little bit of like so a lot of us are dealing with, hey, did we do enough? Hey, has there been enough? Hey, I'm scared. Hey, um, phew. 
there is a deep focus on the reliance on yourself, your own will. Let's look more into the cards. I'm going to pull some overarching stone cards. I just want one stone card to support the people. Actually, let's do three past, present, future. Three. Three spirit, please. Three. Three. One just fell out. Okay. Interesting. So two, two more, please. Two more. Two more. So there could be this like hesitating feeling. Cause I'm almost like hesitating to the cards and I, I normally very much am fluid with them. So um, as we've been moving through a lot of distrust with other people, a lot of sorrow from the last year and continuing to sort through things that really impacted us last year. Whoa, whoa. We now have that opportunity to face it with strength, to create the union, to create the synergy, to create the freedom. You have the power to do that. You have the power to do that. Um, but we've got to get grounded though. There's that, that shaky feeling that I was feeling. Let's ground, what grounds you, what supports you, what um, can have you back in your body, whether it's breathing, um, okay? So really take the time to ground. Ground in, out of all the fear, out of all the distrust, and free yourself. Now that we have a, a newfound awareness to um, what it takes to be with. I'm going to pause for a second because there's a, there's a lot of energy I'm feeling right now. Um, yeah. So I just want to howl, howl at the moon now. You can see the shine. Let me feel your love. So in order to access love, you are the conduit. And that's what they're saying here. Like you are the source. You tap into the source. You actualize it. You bring that calmness, that confidence. You, you create it in how you prepare for life. So trust that your innate desires, trust your innate desires, what you innately to. Let's get a few cards for this, this deck. This is the first deck that I ever owned. First deck I ever owned. Yeah, decide. I'm going to get two more. Some of us are facing lots of decisions. Like we've been thinking about things. We've been wanting to do things. We started to do things. We're building that new trust in ourselves and trust in other people. And it's, it's scary and vulnerable. And you know, we're being called to really look at what you Excuse me, what do you, what do you love? Yeah, exactly. And in making this decision, what do you love? What do you want to create? It goes back to the Queen of Wands. And she forges the, the beauty of all the abundance coming through strength. We're getting grounded intentionally in what you love putting aside the fear of what was and forging through in the lightness in the magnetic movement of the moon aware 
aware of what you love and what you want. When you're in that space, you are the magnet and you flip this from concern, from the worry of broken hearts and loss into the lightness of the dreamy state of the moon, of the awe that we experience when we witness her in all of her beauty. So pay attention. Pay attention to the, the instant feedback. Pay attention to how you feel. Be retrospective now is a time to go within and reflect as we are under the new moon. It's a little softer, this moon. We're being gently guided and uh, a good amount of us have given up the, the guilt attached to missed opportunities or um, we're starting to, to really hear our judgments. So there's an inspiration here to, to listen to how we talk, talk to ourselves, talk to other people. So, um, the spirit of the heart is there's been so much um, confliction and um, confusion. Um, let's get some clarity on where the heart has been. It's going to be, going to go, let's see. Emerald showed up and it showed up last week or earlier in the week. Um, <clears throat> really revealed a lot of the fear that's been and showing us the opportunity to create. Showing, excuse me, showing us the opportunity to create, um, to create our, our peace, our balance as it, we're being guided here. Can I have um, three cards? Three cards from this deck? Yeah. Yeah, again, that like vibe of leaping, leaping into the beautiful wonder, the wonder of the unknown. Yeah. It's like you're gonna win or you're gonna lose. And even if you lose, maybe you're winning. You're protected because you're intentional. That intentionality protects you, and guides you, it frees you, it calms you. Your clarity, the magnet. One more card spirit for this deck. I'll leave all the deck information in the info, info part. One more spirit from this deck, please. One more. These are an oracle deck. Um, they're the psychic tarot deck for the car, for the heart <laughs> from John Holland. One more script. I have one more card for the people uh, in relation to the past, present, and future. And that will support the collective in creating more peace in their life and fulfilling on their dreams, discovering their dreams. Now is this time to reflect, to leap, to spread our wings, for you will win and you may lose. And losing could be winning. Are you getting really present to your perspective? How it makes you feel? And how you really want it to be? Now the time that you'll be very much aware. Very 
bottom of the sensations that guide spirit. Can we have one more, please, from this deck? One more. One more spirit. Guiding the people. <laughs> one more. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Spirit, can we have one more from this deck? Past, present, future, future, supporting the people. <laughs> there we go. This is upside down. Interesting. It says reach out. Yeah, this goes back to this, guys. There's a, uh, and I'm shaking as we talk, there is a deep sense of, like, mistrust. Not wanting to get hurt again, wanting to protect yourself. Okay, I'm going to put this deck down and just feel into it for a second. Excuse me. So, let's go back on that distrust theme. It's, there's been a lot of agonizing, very grueling theme um, towards the last quarter of last year. Um, and it has caused us, a lot of us, to go in protection mode, to go within, uh, to start to really discover um, what we want, uh, what we haven't allowed for. And that can be sad, that can be daunting, um, and very revealing and humbling. Um, it, it's an opportunity here. An opportunity. That reach out in reverse. It's time. It's time to trust. It's time to forge forward. Um, there is a, 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 I'm feeling a lot around uh, unions. So if you're dealing with um, any relationship, whether it's uh, with your parents, whether it's romantic, whether it's in, interpersonal, um, reaching out and building um, trust for yourself and your ability to share trust in the other person that you you can share um, let, let's f feel into the trust a little more um, what's stopping what's stopping from this trust what will help support it yeah the slave and I venture that's the shadow aspects of giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Yes. So what do you love? What do you really want? You've got it. There's a huge decision here. There's an inspiration to reach out. Spread your ring, wings. If you get caught in this, if you get caught in the worry, you get caught in the distrust. You get caught in the fear. Then you'll cycle back through and you'll stay here, ungrounded, running. This old pattern is. There's no room for it. It brings anxiety, it breeds fear. Can you give us some? Um, Spirit, one, one more card on the future, yeah. Hold on, I, w I didn't finish saying that. Spirit, can I have one more card on the future? The future, the future. It's almost like a wild card. It's interesting. Can we clarify this a little more, please? Yeah, gambler. You know, that goes into the same thing, like, win or lose. Like, you might, 
Like, and you're guided to the freedom of it, to spreading your wings. Look at this card. Beautiful and bold. Is that focus? Beautiful and bold. Free. Liberated. You have the strength of the lion coming into this new moon. It's beautiful leaping to reach, reach beyond the loss, to go within, to reconcile, to ground, to calm. This all occurs in the communication when you face, face your fears. The rescuer provides strength and supports to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation or reward. This level of freedom, it unites don't forget, though, about yourself. In supporting others, you do support yourself. Excuse me, my alarm went off. The rescuer. Yeah, that, guys, it's time to like get really, really um, flat with yourself. Decision is here. You do the dis deciding based on what do you love. Take an inventory. What's missing? What do you want? It's time to leap. It's time to fly. <sighs> I hope that's supported. Um, please leave. Well, I trust that it, it has. Um, and would you please uh, comment and uh, share what supported you out of this reading? Um, I welcome you uh, to subscribe and uh, look forward to future guidance um, with all my love. Through all the chaos of what was, you are the beacon. You are the one that attracts it and chooses. Reflect, decide. This is the, that's the ultimate. Um, that's the life waiting ahead. Once you choose, once you decide. I'm getting reminded of the slogan, live free or die, from New Hampshire. It's like, live free or die. So they might get mad, they might not, but holding our tongues, like, it, it, it prolongs, it affects, it brings confusion, and yeah, feed your soul. Feed you first. <laughs> yeah, there's there's this um one last thing I'll say that this this shaky energy um has to be moved through. Take your time, reflect during this new moon. What do you want to create? Time to, to take action. Live free of die, baby. Live free of die. Cheers to creating your life. So all in all, cheers to your courage. 
to leaping to fulfilling your dreams, to discovering your dreams, to taking the steps and planning to fulfill, leaping in romance or interpersonal relationships with a parent or um, there's a big highlight on Come together right now over me. You decide. You ground. You fly. Cheers to your courage. Peace.